Hey, this is Jamal and today I show you some additional features about light in Renderman. First here in Maya you can see we have a light bulb and within there is a filament. We can select this filament and create a pixel mesh light. Um, that means that the mesh we have selected now glows. You can see it right here. Our filament is not that bright, but we can increase the number of our exposure. And now it nearly looks like a filament in a light bulb should look like, but we need to decrease the number of our temperature because um, I want it to look like those old warm looking light bulbs. The next thing we're going to create is the, in my opinion, most important part in realistic lighting. And this is the Pixar Dome Light. Here you can put in a color map that means a 360 degrees picture of your environment. With that turned on, Renderman creates automatically an nearly perfect environment lighting. The only problem with that is uh, the light is very diffuse, so um, your shadows will be very softened. The light looks much better to me now, but I think we need to refine it a bit more. I created a neon sign with a glass shader and two different mesh lights, but to me it looks very hard and does not fit to our scene, so um, I do this. I turn off camera visibility in attribute editor so only our reflections are there anymore and it looks much much better and gives our scene in this kind of cyberpunk style. You recognize on the one hand it looks good but on the other hand it's kind of unrealistic because nothing emits this light and the reflection is still there. So um, this is good and artistic but not realistic. In the end I wanted to create some additional reflections in the light bulb, so I created some pixel cylinder lights, placed them left and behind the light bulb. And as you can see we created a light rig with so many very cool reflectations. And if you want to try that on your own, you can download this file without any lighting and then you can try to make it on your own or maybe better than me. So thank you for watching and see you in the next time.